Yeah. <laughs> all right. When we get started, uh, yeah, January meeting uh, of the Walk Committee. Uh, first of all, does anyone have any questions or concerns about the November 14th minutes from the last meeting? Yes, I I do. There is there is one correction. Okay. And for number two, resolution 84, where it says amending the Albany County Legislative Rules of Order, tabled at the request of the sponsor. Uh, that actually was tabled at the request of the of the uh, committee, not the sponsor. You're correct. Okay. Any objections to that? And it's 84A now, too. Correct. Okay. Do you have an individual motion to amend or just? I move, move to approve the minutes as amended. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Let's uh, jump a little bit out of order here. Sure. And jump all the way to under current business item number 22. Authorizing the submission of a grant application for the State Records Management Fund regarding upgrading the electronic management system. Well, congratulations, congratulations Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And uh, distinguished members of the Law Committee, I appreciate your opportunity to come before you tonight to address uh, an, a grant application that we would like to submit to the Local Government Records Management Improvement Fund. As you know, last year we were successful in obtaining over $145,890 from this same uh, records management improvement fund grant process. I'm here tonight to, uh, to ask that you allow me to submit $149,077 to the local government records management improvement fund. This is a, as you know, this is, we are the only shared services records management program in the state of New York between the county of Albany and the city of Albany. This year's grant uh, will once again combine a shared services project between the County of Albany and the City of Albany, and we will use, utilize an experienced image vendor uh, to convert the following 1,028 volumes of deed books for the County Clerk's Office and 262,500 documents that are approximately 11 by 17 or smaller and 19,688 documents that are larger than than 11 by 17 for the City of Albany's planning department. Um, the deed books that we are going to ask for the Local Government Records Management Improvement Fund to, to produce for us, they range in the date from 1945 to 1970. They're very old. Uh, we want to keep those records preserved uh, by imaging them and getting them scanned and getting them done uh, with this grant, hopefully, it, it'll allow us to put those books to bed and never have to use them again, which will preserve those records. <coughs> and, um, you know, it's it's just uh, it's just something that we've worked hard with the planning department in the city of Albany to get their records. Right now, as it stands, the planning department records are in the basement of City Hall in Albany, and the offices are located on Henry Johnson Boulevard, which means the city themselves also have to send staff down to the City Hall to pick up different records and when they need them, return to Henry Johnson Boulevard and then in the end when they've completed, they need to send them back to the City of Albany. So, uh, it's going to accomplish two things, one for Albany County for our deed books and two for the, uh, for the City of Albany's planning department books. Uh, they, these books will now no longer be needed to be used by hand. They will be scanned and taken care of and forever uh, those books will be able to be put in place. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Any questions from the committee or any other members? All right. Is there a motion? Mr. Rachi, second. Mr. Feeney, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. your time. Item number 23, authorizing an agreement with the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services, actually Division of Criminal Justice Services, regarding the A2 defense program. Mr. Kinlan, welcome. Thank you so much. That's a hard act to follow. <laughs> it is. I was thorough. Uh, very thorough. Um, I can be brief and to the point if okay. we are authorized uh, to, uh, if, if we are authorized to have this contract signed in the Public Defender's Office, of which I am representative, Judge Herrick had to go to the law school this evening uh, to deal with uh, something on our behalf. Um, the uh, uh, Division of Criminal Justice Services will um, provide us with $45,000 uh, for our budget. It's as simple as that. It's as straightforward as that. It's been done in the past, and I request that uh, you approve. Okay. So moved. Uh, 
Uh, any, any questions? Uh, looks like the Signorachi motion. Mr. Finney, a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And one more item for you, Mr. Kimmel. Thank you, sir. Item um, number 24, authorizing the submission of an application to the New York State Office of Indigent Legal Services regarding the second council of first appearance grant. Uh, thank you. Let me, I, I'll cut you off a little bit first, just from having spoken to a handful of judges in the area. This program has worked tremendously so far. Um, I, I have heard of no cases where, account, where, where defendants were not represented by your office at first arraignment. It's been a huge success so far, and I'm very hopeful this program will continue and, and maybe even enhance it. So hopefully I didn't take away of your thunder there, if you want to tell us no, more about uh, it. No, so moved. Thank you. We are, we are very proud of this program. Um, like from time to time, one of our assistant public defenders will complain about the fact that they have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go out to a town judge justice court uh, for arraignment. But uh, I think we're running at about 100% uh, now, and uh, there, there is another $250,000 that is available to us uh, through this application process, and I respectfully request that you approve it. Okay. I did have one quick question. Uh, so far, the program has been countywide in all the courts. There was a, a little bit of language in the state backup saying that uh, applicants need not propose countywide all courts or court solutions. It's our intention here that we will provide coverage to all the courts. And that's my request right. as well. Okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, question. Mr. Bullock. And what effect did the veto have that uh, Cuomo did on the public defenders? This, well, the, the effect that it had on the county budget yeah. was, I think, devastating and ridiculous. Don't get me started. But as far as <laughs> I want to this program, this, this is a freestanding uh, program that exists, that is already in existence, and the veto it has no impact on it whatsoever. Good. We will continue being with defense at the first arraignment, no matter what, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Excellent. Uh, any other questions? And just a quick question. It's just a matter of terminology I might, I might not understand. He says second at counsel at first appearance, and then below it's like first. Uh, well, what, I think what they're trying to, to say here is that this is the second time we've applied for. Okay, that's for what I thought. I was thinking person. we were going for a second person. You know, yeah. my, my mother was an English teacher, yeah. and she'd have a long talk with whoever wrote that. Yeah. But, that's uh, okay. I, I understood. You that. can ask the question. I wondered that too, and I thought it might be a little optimistic to have two counsels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was in your letter. That's why. It was and you were afraid to ask because you like are a death penalty. Two lawyers there. So. All right. Any other questions? Thank you. So moved. Mr. Rachi, a second. Take a second. Mr. Feeney, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Pearson, thank you as well. Harry, thank you all. Take take item, uh, item number 25, authorizing the extension of a grant and an agreement with the New York State Department of Criminal, excuse me, Division of Criminal Justice Services regarding the Stop Violence Against Women Grant. Director Ziegler, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We are currently in a two-year grant with, uh, with we're in a two-year grant with the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services, and are giving us a one-year extension. So this is to continue the work that we've been doing. It's this, pretty much the same budget. It's a coordinated plan with uh, ourselves, the DA, as well as the sheriff at the jail, the, the pre of the criminal Prison Rape Elimination Act. So it's a continuation of the work that we've been doing, and it's just an extension of our current grant. Excellent. One quick question: The two victim advocates are they in your department? We have one, and the, um, the DA has one. So we have a felony level and a misdemeanor level um, victim advocate. Excellent. Okay. Any questions from the committee or other members? I'll make a motion. Ms. Lockhart, Ms. Sigrazi, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And while you're here, item number 26: Authorizing the submission of a proposal to the New York State Legislative Women's Caucus regarding a pilot project to provide services to female veterans. The Women's Caucus reached out to us and they have concerns regarding the quality of vet veterans, uh, the VA services to women veterans. Uh, they don't feel that they're well served and having done some research, it's been documented that women veterans are not well served by the VA. It's um, very much oriented toward male veterans, although women veterans are certainly a growing population. They've asked us to submit a proposal for a pilot project that we run through the Rape Crisis Program, my, my agency. Um, to hire a woman veteran with counseling experience to be able to serve women veterans. Um, what I'd like to do, if this is if this is, 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 is submit the pilot, if funded, I you know I'll include a, an example of our, what the budget would look like. I'd like to, and if funded, potentially pursue uh, additional funding, continue funding through one of our current grantors. But this is just a pilot project to see if what it would look like, what what services would wrap around it. It would certainly liaison on with the Veterans Bureau. Um, and I don't want I, I don't want to say we wouldn't serve men, but we would want to definitely focus our efforts towards serving women veterans. Excellent. This is a very exciting 
Very Thank exciting you. proposal, very exciting expansion of your services. And take a moment to appreciate the compliment that they reached out to you for this. And oh, it's absolutely. One of, the, one of the pilot programs to go forward with this. It's a, it's a great compliment for all the work you've done. Back to the uh, top of the agenda. Under previous business, resolution number 80, item one, preventing the hiring of former county legislators and the family members of current and former county legislators by the county of Albany. I don't believe Mr. Mayo is here, so we will table that. Table for the sponsor or table for? Sponsor, if he's not here. Table for the sponsor's absence. I do request the sponsor if they're not here. Okay. Item number two, resolution number 84A, amending the Albany County Legislative Rules of Order. Mr. Mr. Chairman, the, uh, the sponsor is requesting that we, we uh, bring this out of committee and, and bring it to a vote on the, on the legislative floor. I believe the policy has been if the sponsor is not here. We'll have to hold it until, yes, the, until the sponsor is here. Okay. We do that in every one. It's okay. not just this one. Okay. That's been the policy. Right. Table, uh, table per sponsor. Item number three, resolution number 127, authorizing 50% of real property taxes collected by the county on real property conveyed by the county land bank corporation be remitted to said entity. I believe that is Mr. Higgins' resolution, and he's not here, so we'll table that also. Mm -hmm. Item number four, local law K, uh, local law of the county of Albany, uh, amending section 206 of the Albany County Charter. That is also Mr. Higgins, we will also table that. Item number five, Reso uh, number 411, public hearing on proposed local law number O for 2016. Mr. Drake's not here. Mr. Drake. I don't believe. All right, that will also be So we're moving along nicely. Uh, item number six, resolution number 407, public hearing on proposed local law P for 2016. You're here, but it's being tight. Yes. I am here. I, I will be tabling items six, seven, and eight. So Cut right through those. Item number nine, resolution number four, ten, public hearing on proposed local. Uh, I see him right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I believe Ms. Cunningham is here. Uh, I think we are still working on reconciling the two versions, so we'll table that. Yeah. Item number ten, local law, over 2016. Uh, relation to the adoption of a county charter for the county of Albany and enacting in place thereof a revised Albany County Charter. That is also Mr. Drake, who is not here. Table. Um, 11 and 12 are both going to be set for public hearings in February. Um, while there was some mix up with respect to the version of each one that was posted, and as a result, when the hearings weren't held, I told both sponsors that I would put these on this month. So, we're going to do the public hearings, there'll be a resolution to put them on at the end of February and the, and the regular night this month. Okay, do the sponsors want to briefly update on how few the changes made? Well, um, I don't think there haven't been any changes made yet. I know that. Um, Cunningham and I will be meeting this week. We've already set a time and a date uh, to uh, look at the bills and see if we can't uh, decide what should stay and what should not stay. And uh, we're just looking forward to doing that. So we think it's a good time to meet because the public hearing is now a long way away. Yes. Five weeks, six weeks. So it certainly gives us time to look things over. Is that excellent? Fair enough? Yeah. Fair enough? Yeah. So, yeah, but we, I think we both would like to go forward, though, and have these moved out for yeah. public hearing. Excellent. These are both two very good pieces of legislation. Both have very strong parts. I look forward to working with you as much as you ask of me to reconcile these. But I think that we can both kind of work together and come with one very strong piece of legislation moving forward. Uh, so let's start with uh, number 11 first, the public hearing on local uh, B. Is there a motion? Maybe a second. Ms. Lockhart, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Frank, can I just ask a question? Yes. So if we do reconcile and there's one piece of legislation, mm -hmm. then would the public hearings on the two be pulled? I think. How would that work? It could be, but they're going to be at the same time. It'll so be combined. 
I think ideally if we could come up with something, if we're able to, to agree, if we come up with something before the full legislature votes on scheduling a public hearing in early February, right. then whatever goes out for notice will be the accurate version. So, so I think if we can get it by then, we could, we could have a post-public forum hearing if there's one bill and put that out instead of these. We could amend the public hearing resolution. Okay. At the meeting in February. Right. We the same night we could amend whatever we're going to put out and then <coughs> put out the public right. hearing. So that when it goes out, it'd be the one that's amended. Yes. Okay. So it'd be the one. Okay. The final version would be the one that would be posted. Right. But we'd have to do that before the legislative meeting or else we'd have to go forward with these two. Right. Because right. right. that would not be what would go out to the public right. in the notice. Okay. Uh, item, so on item number 12, the public here for proposed local law number W, is there a motion? Mr. Feeney, a second? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> what was the date again, Jim? February 20... 21st? 21st, I believe. Okay. Is that Tuesday? Okay. Yeah, that's it. 21st. Okay. Thank you. All right. So approved. Uh, items 13, 14, and 15 are mine. I will table those. That goes to item number 16 on local law S, uh, regulating the use of polystyrene foam disposable food serviceware. Uh, I'm not sure if we heard very much about that at the last meeting, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we took up most of the here. time. Uh, Mr. Higgins is not here, so we will table that. Oh, I'm a co sponsor. I'm sitting in for, with Ms. Mr. Higgins. Uh, okay, Mr. Bowles, what do you want? Local wanna? law. I'd, I'd like to move the local law with a. Um, with an amendment, if I could, it doesn't require another hearing. It's a clarifying amendment. It's on section uh, under section four, disposable food service wear, and it simply adds to the uh, the local law. An exclusion uh, will be allowed if the um, food service wear is recycled in the local Albany County recycling system. So that, that is a uh, clarifying uh, amendment. It, it doesn't change the local law, and I, I'd like it to be considered. Otherwise, I want to move the entire thing if it, it won't. Has, the, has either you or uh, Mr. Higgins put forth a fiscal impact statement on the measure on what it would cost to implement? Because I move to table this until a fiscal impact statement is provided. I... Uh, I don't believe a fiscal impact statement to the county is necessary. Uh, I don't think there's any expense to the county. I received a uh, memo from uh, from the social services chair, uh, Lucille, uh, and, and uh, she's indicating that there's going to be absolutely no expense uh, from the county, department by department, uh, mental health, aging, victims, nursing home. No, it's no added expense to the county. Somebody's got there might be an added expense to the employers. That's true, but the employers' added expense will be minimal and, and non because we have non to that we have to administer and make sure that everybody is following the policy. So that's going to cost whether it's going to be the Department of Health or whatever department is going to administer. That's going to wind up costing money. So I'm we are already system. administering it. Uh, under the chain food uh, provision. Many, now, in and comparison, how many more are we going to have? So I do make a motion that this is going to wind up being. What I understand that, that it's a, a routine process. So, council's position then that it does have to be the lead sponsor who's present. Today. Yeah, it's, it's always been the lead sponsor, Doug. I mean, it, we've done it to everybody, including chairman of parties. Oh, well, I was a co lead sponsor, if that's any. Uh, no, I've been on here since the beginning. I've been on the main sponsor of the chain food uh, ban on, on uh, polystyrene. And, uh, you know, I think it's perfectly, uh, you know, okay. I guess in here. So I mean, I would suggest this. I do think a formal fiscal impact statement does need to be submitted for the local law, and not just a letter, because I don't think that's actually from the departments. The other slight concern I have going forward is that most of these local laws, particularly with environmental impact, probably need a secret because we have a decent chance of facing litigation on this later. And I don't want I don't want the first cause of action to be the county failed to do a secret determination. 
So those should not be difficult, but I do think those are probably <coughs> well advised to be done. Before we move it out? I would say so. So, so I have to wait another month before we move it out? I think so. But I think we definitely need the formal fiscal statement. Mm -hmm. And I would strongly advise the seeker to protect against litigation later. Have you uh, advised the, uh, the main sponsor of this? No, it's my first night. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, it... <coughs> We'd advise him if he was here. I, I can tell you that I, I had secret terminations to a couple of my local laws in the past because I want to say one of the downstate, I think Suffolk County, did get sued for not doing secret determination on a, on a similar local law. Jim, but I think we ought to um, stay with what our policy is that if the sponsor is not here. The, the, that so he's been the lead sponsor. That. If they're not here, it doesn't move. I mean, That's I'm not, not going to tell Mr. Morello one thing. Yeah, he was just doing something, you know. Well, I've done he it could before. Have said this, he was on the same thing. I understand, start, and so that's, but that's why it's a uniform policy. And that's why that's, I think we should. And be anybody who's been here this. for a while knows that that's, that's the way. That's right. I'm agreeing with you, Pat. Okay. Oh, okay. But, no, I. I think if we're going to do it that way, then we should do it that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and table this, and I'll, if you want to talk to Mr. Higgins, I'll call him tonight or tomorrow and, and just kind of suggest those two other things to well, we can be submit, ironclad moving forward. And we can submit a fiscal impact statement, okay. and we can submit a secret. Secret should be, I'm sure it'll be no impact determination, but yeah. a, it is a box to check off. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Thanks. Thanks. You'll, you'll inform him. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm number 17, local law number T. We already... Hearing resolution. Uh, is Cunningham retabling this? Local law? Yeah. Okay. Item number 18, local law U. Uh, Mr. Mendick is not present. We'll table that as well. Uh, local law B and local law W. I would recommend we table pending the public hearing resolutions. Yes. Yes. Finally, local law number X, a, a new introduction from uh, Mr. Joyce, Mr. <coughs> Andrew Joyce. Uh, Mr. Joyce is not here, but hopefully at the next meeting, Mr. Joyce can come and give us a brief overview of what this legislation involves. So, Council, is that it? That's it. Is there a motion to adjourn? Second. Thanks, everybody.